Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Yes, we've got more 2020 Top Series 1 baseball. This is a six box jumbo case, random team break number 21 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. Now remember, we did have some combos. A's, O's, Marlins, Twins, Diamondbacks, Pirates were comboed up to make, uh, we only sold 27 spots right here. So let's roll it and randomize each list five and a one six times for each list. Names first, one, two, three, four, five, and a one, sixth and final time. After six, Jeremy down to Michael. Five and a one, six times. For the teams, one, two, three, four, five, and a one. Sixth and final time. After six times, we've got the Red Sox down to the Washington Nationals. All right, so Jeremy, you have the Boston Red Sox, David with the Diamondbacks Pirates combo, Stacy with the Cubs, Jeff with the Reds, Robert with the Phillies, Kevin with the Yankees, Bill with the Mariners, Darren with the Angels, Paul with the Tigers, Andrew with the White Sox, Bill with the Mets, Joe with the Rockies, William with the Brewers, Charles with the Giants, Rick with the Rays, Jeff with the Indians, Matt with the Cardinals, Johnny with my Dodgers, Justin with the Astros, Bill with the Rangers, Oscar with the Orioles and A's, Jeff with the Marlins Twins combo, Robert with the Braves, Kevin with the Blue Jays, uh, Matthew, Last Spot Mojo, Kansas City Royals, Andrew with the Friars, and Michael Koontz with the reigning champions of the Nets. All right, let's sort this by column B. And I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to allow for some trade uh, chatter and some talk. And when we come back, we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. A little bit of trade chatter, a little bit of tra checklist discussion while we were paused. But no trade deals got done, but we learned a lot about what we could possibly get out of here. Six box jumbo, random team. This is technically random team 21. Twenty one. All right, there you go. There's everybody right here. Thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for breaking with us. All right, let's embark on this jumbo journey. All right, now Jason's told me that the uh, that the pair the uh, sorry the. The short prints, the variations, are uh, are in between the hits, but I may need a little help in the first few boxes here, just to get myself into a rhythm. But there you go. What's our poster here, which we're going to use here in the shop? Ah, uh -huh. oh, there's series two. There you go. Good luck, everybody. And we'll save all of these. Uh, well, they're blue, but I think they call them silver packs. But we'll we'll save these at the very end. I'm gonna set those over here. These will pop open right now. All right, so if you're in the Hermosa Beach area, ladies and gentlemen, surrounding areas, you can come visit us for our trade night tomorrow between... Do we have a trade night flyer that can steal oh, yeah. There it is. Trade night. We're going to try to do these once once a month in the local area right here. But there's our first one right there. So that should be a lot of fun. 
tomorrow. I'll be here. I'll, I'll be breaking, but I'll also be checking in on trade night as well. Um, please don't let it be just me, Nick, and Sean all night. Oh, please, God, no. It's just every month, it's just me, Nick, and Sean hanging out. Could be worse things, I guess. But we've been telling Sean, Sean's going to be co coming by. He, we've been telling people for the last couple of weeks or so. We told everybody at the grand opening, look out for our trade night. So I'm sure the first few times will be a little slow, but we'll, uh, we'll eventually get the people going on it. Good luck, everybody. So obviously, all these rookie cards will ship. And I think Jason said after the foil and before the hit, that should be a variation right there. I like these manufactured patches that they have there. I think those are pretty interesting. That goes to the Astros. That'll be Justin Humphrey. Got some decades cards here, and all of these inserts and very uh, inserts will of course ship. I like the photography here. Tony Gonsolin was talked about as a potential player part in the Mookie Betts deal, which is on hold because Bruce Star Greater all apparently they're not thrilled with his medical report. Decades is best, apparently. There you go. There's some Brendan McKay. And I think Bo Bichette might be one of the bigger rookies this year. And Mark's saying he sold a Bo Bichette short print. This is not the short print, but sold a short print for $70 today? The, oh yeah, so these are out of 2020. That's why I'm pulling those. You got one yet? Well, I don't know. <laughs> so it's I, I got I pulled that one after the foil. Yeah, but that's a numbered card, right? But that's a numbered yeah. card. That that's the 50, yeah. right? So that so that is going to be always in that yeah, that's, that's that slot. slot right okay, there, yeah. so that's always going to be something mm -hmm. after the foil. Whether it's and then a, there'll be packs where it's like just a, a older card that has nothing to do with it, but it's like a nice. And card. there's an autograph. There's Travis Demerit. Yeah, Demeret. It's a Travis. D. Travis. Travis D. <laughs> uh, rookie auto for the Tigers. That's going to go to Paul Hutchins. He's only like three or four in the whole case. Like Eleven out of fifty. Well, I'm just going to pull them anyway, and yeah, then yeah. and then the team will pull these, and these will all go to you as well. But anything after the foil, right, will be something, ladies and gentlemen. So there's there's your clue. Whether it's a short print or a variation or a numbered card, big thanks to Tops for that. Because before, we'd have to just look at that code down there. 
and our shipping team would be like, so that's something right here, right? So 23 out of 69, Blake Trinan, who's with the Dodgers now. Hopefully, he was a good closer a couple years ago. If he can get back to his, his ways. We met him, we gave, Jason gave him a t-shirt. Hopefully he'll wear it someday. Maybe batting practice. Yeah, I know. Just like, <laughs> like, just like leaving an airport. Like TMZ yeah, yeah. will catch him. <laughs> like outside, Pete, Pete. And he's got Jaffe's face face right. on. He's just like, oh, this is just my flying shirt. <laughs> like I just wear whatever. It's probably gonna be a sleep shirt, a working out shirt. Yeah. I'd like to see that. He's got the sleeves torn yeah, off, and he just out right when he's working out. Or something. Working out. So uh, there is, so there's the foil right there, and we've got this Mario Rivera. Right, fair enough. I like the jumbos though; those are e these are kind of easy. <laughs> I don't know if I want to see hobbies. <laughs> I don't know who the, any of the good Astros rookies are going to be. They they've they finished, you know, they've been finishing kind of high, right? In their division, so their draft picks usually aren't super high. They're they're in the twenties or thirties. Nice die cut right here. Uh, uh, yeah, but Jordan Alvarez, I guess, would be would be their big rookie. He's in a, he's officially a rookie this year, or the RC. I don't think they really anticipated him coming up last year. Ooh. All right, so we'll keep breezing through these. There's Hyunjin Ru and the Relic, Pete Alonso. That'll be for the Mets. I'd go to Bill Augustus with that one. Yeah, for the Cubs, Nico Herner should be the big name. We saw him come up, and I think his first week when since he was called up was pretty good. I think he did a pretty great job. So the Cubs are hoping that trend will continue. There's Austin Meadows, so these, of course, will ship. And there is, out of 220, Lewis Thorpe, and there's Yachty. The classic wood frame from the late 80s. After this is Decades Best, Willie Mays. All right, and let's take a look at the Turkey Red oversized box loader. And we were just talking about him. There's Nico Herner. There you go. And that'll be for Stacy and the Cubs. All right. Next jumbo. One autograph and two relic cards is what we can expect out of each one, plus those variations. And again, we'll open up all of those silver packs all at once at the end. Force Whitley is an Astro, I believe. Don't think he's in this. I think he he may, didn't we see him as a rookie last year?
I know, I know there's a lot of cards here in Series 1, but I personally like Series 1 just because this kind of kicks off the baseball season, at least hobby-wise. kind of kicks off baseball season. Pitchers and catchers will be reporting really soon. They'll be... I think there'll be uh, spring training games starting later this month. So there is a lot to look forward to. There's Luke Voigt to 220, to 2020. Tommy Pham, and after him is Ronald Acuna Jr. That goes to Robert Edwards and the Bravos. Nice. There's the foil, there's the decades next. Trying to catch some of the some of the rookies. I'm sure we'll find some more of these, like these base rookies right here. Dustin May. Should be a big part of the Dodgers' plans this season, I hope. Max Muncy just got that big extension. Behind Yuli Gurriel, Mark McGuire. Zach Granke and Jose Altuve. Got a big medallion right here. Venezuela medallion. Ichiro die cut. Boba Shets, of course. As much as I can catch, we'll go to Kevin and the Blue Jays. It's supposed to be the big RC for the Toronto Blue Jays this season. There's Brendan McKay right here. He's supposed to be able to pitch and hit a la Shohei Otani. There's Gavin Lux right here too. Obviously all of those rookie cards will ship, but I'll try to catch as much of those as possible. There is Andres Munoz, 20 to 2020. 
That's for the Friars. It's going to go to Andrew. Yeah, I wasn't. I was a little surprised, Sean, that they didn't put Joe Adele in this. But I guess, I guess maybe they're waiting to put him into update. And we've got an autograph. It's Garrett Cole. Astros edition of Garrett Cole. That'll be for Justin Humphrey. Incredible season for him last year. Nolan Arenado looks like a variation there. There you go. That'll be for the Rockies. That's going to go to Joe Andreessen. Box topper. Yeah, I saw that AJ Hinch interview with Tom Verducci today, Sean. Looks like he avoided questions about buzzers, but kind of admitted everything else. There's Matt Chapman. Uh, A's O's combo for Oscar. He was asked straight up, hey, why didn't you stop it? He says, I should have. Should have stopped it, but I didn't. Seem like what is AJ Hinch on 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 his redemption tour already? I guess. So following that, following his year long suspension, try to get try to get a job again. He should get a job. He'll probably get a job again. I can't imagine him not. I guess. That does bring to light the interesting question of whether Pete Rose should be in or not, because now he's looking at these guys saying, well, these guys got one-year suspensions, you know? None of the players got suspended. So Pete Rose wondering what's going on. If I was Pete Rose, I'd wonder what's going on, too. But I guess it is a little different. Pete Rose broke a long-standing rule that was in existence. Probably before he was born, maybe. <laughs> Johnny Cueto, decades best. Price is Max Scherzer. Max Scherzer batting. Should be a variation right there. Right, I agree. It doesn't help that Pete Rose is not not as likable as say someone like 
as we just summoned like A-Rod. All right, and behind Renfro is nice Austin Riley. One out of 10. That's pretty strong. Three color patch and on card autograph. Nice hit for Robert and the Braves. That is strong. I think he's a he's a good maybe a buy low in fantasy baseball maybe because he started off hot and then cooled off considerably. But he's got a he's got a decent ceiling. So that could be could be an interesting one to pick up. Fancy baseball is going to be starting soon, ladies and gentlemen. Vlad Guerrero, and behind him is Brad Hand and a die cut, Lou Gehrig. Brad Hand for the tribe, 826 out of two, 2020. And I'll go to Jeff, and there's a Lou Gehrig die cut for Kevin in the Yankees. There you go. AJ Puck should be interesting. The little uh, little big unit right there. Sure, Sean. Is this a real question or is this uh, your classic troll question? If it's a serious question, I'll answer it. All right. There's Charlie Blackman. For the Rockies, that'll be for Joe Andreessen. A lot of good photography in this stuff this year. There's Aaron Hicks to 2020. There's Yadier Molina. <laughs> All right, same old jokes. All right, that goes to Matt Gomes and the Cardinals. Behind Framil Reyes is CC Sabathia in his Indians gear. I'll go to the tribe. There's Christian and Nolan. Oh, do we have to randomize these? Christian and Nolan. 
discussing things. I think we have to. We'll do left-right randomizers on that. I'm sure there might be some other ones. All right, and the turkey red box topper. Box loader, box topper. It's another Nico Herner. That goes to Stacy and the Cubbies. All right, next one. Was that Ty Cobb numbered? It's a good question. to go through these and try to find that cob again. Where was that? Was that recently? A little bit ago? Oh, there it is. No, not it'll ship, but it's not it was not numbered. All right. Move these hits out of the way. Next box. Almost there, folks. Halfway through this break. Got about another 30 minutes to go. So after this, we'll go through orders and we'll see what else we can accomplish. I know that we got a few breaks that were pretty close. Let's see if there's anything sold out if I refresh the page. Looks like both of those limited, so it looks like limit is coming up after this. That's sold out, and I don't think anything else is sold out. Flawless is still holding at four. All right, so there you go. Schedule is now updated. And then after limited, nothing else is sold out after that. We got Josh Bell. It's a nice hat, Josh. And we got Ken Griffey Jr. in his Mariners gear. Nice. That'll be for Bill and the M's. 45 out of 50. Global game medallion. Those are pretty sharp. And the Josh Bell variation will go to the Pirates, of course. 
That is for David Bruins. It's a, it was a combo team. Diamondbacks, Pirates. There's Zach Gallen to 2020. Be for the Diamondbacks. Got an autograph. It's Travis Dur Demerit again. I'll get his name right someday. That'll go to Paul Hutchins and the Tigers. We've got a couple of those now. That 85 design. Next stack here. And we got Aaron Judge. I thought that was going to look like a different border right there, but there's Aaron Judge for the Yankees. Now, folks, we got a double header break of this on jazbeescasebreaks.com. If we accomplish that tonight, plus a couple contenders breaks, we're going to give away a little bit of money. Some break credit for only the people that are involved in that break. So if you want to try to win some money for doing what you normally do, join group breaks, and please get into the action on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Nolan Ryan to two ninety nine. And that is California Angels edition of Nolan Ryan. That goes to DMAC with that one. And we've got Gary Sanchez, pinstripe relic for the Bronx Bombers. That's going to go to Kevin and the Yankees. Trey Turner, and then we've got Hank Aaron. I think Hank Aaron recently had a birthday. Happy birthday, Hank. And I think he came out and said he, he thinks that all those guys should be banned. All the Astros players should be banned. Willie Mays, Willie Mays Hayes, how you doing? 
How you doing? My man. It's that time of year, folks. It's the time of year where we start going back through some old baseball movies to get pumped up about the season. this off. It's going to be Miggy, Miguel Cabrera. And that'll be for the Tigers. That's going to go to Paul Hutchins. <coughs> Excuse me. Two more boxes go than the silverbacks. Moneyball, says Bill. It's one of your favorites. Moneyball's pretty good. I at first I didn't I didn't think. I was just like, how are you gonna turn that book? The book's pretty solid too. How are you can turn that book into a movie, but I think they I think Aaron Sorkin did it. I think he ended up making a nice little narrative out of that out of the book. Hey Moneyball's pretty good. Like hmm? I'm going to Panda. Would he like anything? Mm, no, I'm good. Thank you, though. No. League of Their Own. I think is one of my favorites. And Major League One is a good one as well. Yeah, League of Their Own is really good. There, We're moving along nicely here. There's Hank Aaron. I have seen Trouble with the Curve. I thought that was okay. That's with uh, that went Clint Eastwood and Amy Adams, right? Thought that was pretty good. wasn't wasn't that bad. I don't know if it's going to... There have been a lot of baseball movies. I'm not sure if it's, if it's going to crack the... Uh, if it's going to if it's gonna crack the, the top ten or the top five of baseball movies, at least in my book, but it, not so bad. I think I also like... Um, I also like Kevin Costner's Perfect Game. I think I like that more than most people do. Behind Granky is Miguel Sano. Twins Relic. That'll be for Jeff and the Twinkies. Win Twins. Got Sandy Koufax and Mariano Rivera and Bo Bichette. Like 
Kevin likes the original Bad News Bears. Classic. Bull Durham, I really like too. Can't go wrong with Bull Durham. Field of Dreams? It's a baseball movie, right? See Rodon Alvarez. I haven't been able to spot any of his base cards. But those those will ship. We'll find those and ship those. Astros. Justin. Um, I saw, I think, uh, a few summers back, Dodger Stadium had um, these these uh, these movie nights after the after like a week day game. Brian Abreu and Jacob Degrom. Mets logo. Nice. Bill with the Mets. Sandlot says David. The rookie rookie was also pretty good. I think Sandlot was on MLB Network the other night. But um, but yeah, uh, so there was like a baseball game, and then you could watch a movie. You can stay at the stadium afterwards and watch a baseball game. And I saw Field of Dreams there, and um, and it's one of my favorite baseball movies. It was really cool. There weren't a lot of people still hanging around. There maybe a few hundred people in like this massive stadium. But they were showing the movie on the Jumbotrons out in the outfield. So if you're watching, the Jumbotrons would be out there. And it was really cool when the voice says, like, if you build it, he will come. And that echoed throughout the entire stadium. It really gives you chills. So if there's an opportunity, if you're one of your major or minor league baseball stadiums does, like, a movie night or something like that in, in, in the stadium, watch Field of Dreams. Because they had the whole PA system doing the audio, so so like you you would hear, if you build it, and it would just echo in the entire scene because no one was there. It's post game, so it was a pretty it was a pretty it was pretty awesome. They don't do those movie nights too often, but I don't think they've done it done a really big series of movies since. But if you have a chance to do that in your neck of the woods, do it. It's pretty cool, especially Field of Dreams. Chills. There's Isan Diaz, 71 out of 300. Mark like trouble with the curve as well? Yeah, go for it, Rex. There you go. Mark is saying this is the advanced stats card right here. There you go, yeah. We're talking about advanced statistics right there and everything. I had him on my fantasy team for a minute or two. And we've got Kyle Lewis autograph. There it is. For the Mariners, that's going to go to... Where's Seattle on my list here? There it is. Bill Augustus with the Kyle Lewis Rookie Auto in that 85 design. 160 out of 199. Patrick Corbin to 2020 Nationals. Michael Koontz. One more box to go. We're almost there.
And it's Fernando Tatis Jr. Nice. Andrew with the Padres. All right, so Rex, maybe the rest of the room can help too. Rex has a 16 by 20 photo of the Mets, signed by 26 players, including Greg Jeffries, Hojo, Howard Johnson, Dave Magadan, Todd Zeal, Mike Scott, Cliff Floyd, and others. What would you list something like that for? Wally Backman in there too. Um, does it is it does it have all the certifications stuff? Uh, the autographs are all, all authenticated. Oh, Beckett COA too. Nice, that helps. Is that a particular is that a particular year? Is that like the 86 Mets or something like that? I don't know, th those photos with a zillion autos, I think sometimes can be hit or miss from, I don't have too much experience with it, but it, they, they feel like they can be a little hit or miss. If they're themed in a certain way, then I think they can do well. Like if it's the starting lineup of some World Series winning team or something like that, you know? And if the photo is of like, you know, a team photo or something cool like that. I mean, I don't know what the photo is, but I feel like those photos in general kind of are a little bit more difficult to, to triangulate, to narrow down a price. All right, last box, boys and girls. We got J.P. Crawford. That's to 76. And we've got a Masahiro Tanaka, New York Yankees. That will be for Kevin. 144 out of 149 on that Global Game Medallion card. J.P. Crawford will go to Bill and the Mariners. Looks like just random. Yeah, it feels like just random players. I was going to say Todd Zeal doesn't seem to fit on that list. Yeah, that's kind of weird, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that's going to go. It seems a little, seems like it's, if it's a little all over the place, it might be a little more difficult to get, you know, as, as big of a price as you could with something else. Mets team card right here, 20 to 20. Ken Griffey Jr. die cut. Let's see, Jesus Lizardo. Anyone else have any thoughts on, on Rex's photo there? Photo is an old aerial view of Shea Stadium. Bregman and a redemption. Any guesses on a redemption? Oh. Sorry, those cards. Does that mean it's a big hit? A redemption? Who's not signing their cards? We're going to find out in a second. Mark says that's huge. Juan Soto. Yep, 
Yeah, Mark's saying Juan Soto as well. Here's an Acuna Jr. This will go to Robert and the Braves. Well, if it's a Juan Soto, that would make Michael Koontz very happy. Bill's thinking Jacob deGrom. There's Garrett, Garrett Cole in Yankees gear, huh? And Mark saying that that Garrett Cole is kind of a short print. They got him in a Yankees uniform in action already. We got that photography ready to go. And there's Vlad Guerrero Jr. with the black border to 299. That looks kind of sharp too. That goes to Kevin and the Blue Jays. Got Austin Meadows, 53 out of 199. Yeah, those black borders on that Vlad Jr., that did look pretty cool. Randall Grichuk to 2020. Rex saying that redemption's a one of one. All right. That'd be nice. That'd be crazy. Fergie Jenkins. <laughs> Box loader. Golden ticket. Uh, golden tickets. I don't think would be redemptions, would they? Here's Pete Alonzo, Mets, Bill. I think they'd just be golden tickets. What's up, Gilo? Which would be randomized to one person in this break if we, if we did pull one. All right. Well, let's see what we got. Congratulations, you are due to receive a World Series champion autograph card of J. Juan Soto. There it is. There's the Juan Soto, Michael Kuntz, and the Nationals. Michael Kuntz is happy. Nice. All right, so congrats to Mike. 
Let's do the silver packs. And obviously all the cards in the silver packs will ship because they are, they all have that sort of mojo refractoriness behind it, some good stuff. Hey, no worries, Mike. Thanks for getting in. I don't know if those box hoppers are are worth anything. In my head, they should be. I feel like I feel like they don't have anything in there. Can these be autographed? Maybe some of those could be autographed out of this set. Could be huge. All right, here we go. He's a, I think, he, yeah, he is a, Aquino is a rookie this year. Dustin May is going to be a rookie this year. That's going to be pretty big. There's Jordan Alvarez. He's going to be one of the bigger names. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything different here. There, okay, so that's got to be a pair. There you go. So that's to 199 with Merrifield. Bo Bichette, green. Nice, to 99. That's pretty strong. And there you go. Nice. So you got the Bo Bichette green for the Blue Jays. Got Whit Merrifield to 199. Nico Herner, it's one of the big rookies there. For the Cubs, that'll go to Stacy. Rick T with the Rays, Brandon McKay. Jordan Alvarez. Dustin May, Dodgers, Johnny, and Aristides Aquino. That's cool. That's for Jeff and the Red Legs. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. Let's do a quick left-right randomizer for those two guys. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three and a four, seven times. Side on top gets it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Right side cards will get them right there. So there you go, and there you have it. Thanks for watching, everyone. That was a six-box jumbo break random team 21 of the brand new 2020 Top Series 1 Baseball on jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is Joe, and I'll break more with you next time. Bye-bye.